Okay, so I'm over here at Dunwoody train station and it says 9.37 p.m. And they're trying to leave me out on the streets and there is no, um, now, oh, now that I cut the camera on, it wanted to finally pull up what time it's supposed to come so where is the train it's not listing okay north spring 10 minutes but the southbound train i'm going southbound and it's not showing um i've been sitting here the whole time and they have cameras right here um they got cameras right right here the same thing happened on the train when the man was not closing the doors when i pulled out my camera all of a sudden he closed the door um, and it's not showing when this uh, southbound train is going to come. And it's 9.38 p.m. They're plotting on my life all over the country. And there are people who work for MARTA that are doing it as well. There are people on the police force. There are people everywhere. They got everywhere, just like the mob. Like when you see those gangster movies and they got people everywhere, it's true. They have people everywhere. So I need to get out of here and we need somewhere safe and warm to sleep, not with gang members, not with people trying to set us up. You know, I need somewhere safe to just keep warm, lie down and work on my evidence because I understand that people do not want me to put this evidence out. It is very cold right now. And I was actually looking on Academy to see if I could try to scrape up enough money to purchase me another firearm. I mean, of course, you know, the first firearm I had, I purchased from Academy, it was a 380. Actually, I've owned about three, but I never shot a gun before I had to protect myself and my child, and I am pregnant. And they're out here trying to set me up to be killed, but they were already trying to do that prior to the shooting anyway. Uh, they were trying to kill us off of the land. And, you know, for me to be out here, everybody sees how vulnerable I am, everybody sees what they are doing you're leaving me outside i do have the right to protect myself but you know any money that i pretty much come up with it'll probably be just to try to keep me somewhere safe at night and that is what they want they want to try to leave me with not even enough money to have anywhere to sleep and their agenda is to have me killed god ain't gonna lie i'm not gonna lie that's what their agenda is and i was sitting there thinking like you know you know even god said like I got the right to have me another firearm anyway to protect myself and I know what they're trying to do like I'm not gonna go buy one because I don't have the money nor would I probably spend the money on that if I had it and I just thought about that song by Tasha Cobbs because I thought about the Bible verse that it said uh, man does not overcome uh, a, a, a city you know what I'm saying by his sword you know what I'm saying? But by the power of God. And yeah, the Lord did let me know like, yeah, sometimes we do need weapons to protect ourselves. Yeah. But with something this big, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad that I didn't have to hurt nobody else because all they're going to do is just try to throw you in another jail cell or kill you and lie about what really happened. I mean, look, they had a whole gang member trying to fight me from the Piru gang he claimed he was from and had I had pulled something out and protected myself from him like I would just be in another jail cell and I could be dead by now because they are trying to lie and cover up everything that they're trying to have these men and women do to me out here knowing that I'm with child so I thought about the Tasha Cobb song after I thought about the Bible verse that talked about overcoming by God's spirit and it was like, um, not by might, not by power, by your spirit, God, send your spirit, God, not by might, not by power, send your spirit, God, send your spirit, God. And they are watching me on these cameras and everything and they're sending strange motherfuckers around. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is just ridiculous. And like, I'm glad that I see the inner working of this country because it's showing that they are trying to keep us enslaved. You know, like if you if you gotta do all of that, you know, to try to have control over one woman, then it really does show that they don't want to let us go. Like, you don't even wanna let us be free on the land. 
you know what I'm saying? So what if God had something bigger for us just as far as our families, even on this land? We couldn't even do it because they're trying to control every single aspect of our lives. I just had to walk off because there was a man that came over there and with this operation that they have going on, you cannot trust any of these people. I'm just dead serious. Like, as soon as they get you thinking that they cool or whatever, they turn on you like a ravenous pit bull. And it's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna stand right here. And so we're out here in the cold. You know, I'm not dealing with no family after what took place. I'm not dealing with anybody until God brings the light forth about what's really going on. I want God to shed light on everything, you know, on the celebrities that was involved, on the politicians, on the lawyers, on everybody that lied, on the police, family. And this is not to condemn anybody, but, you know, when God decides to show his mercy, then I'll show mine as well. But if God is telling me to stand my ground, with particular people, I'ma stand my ground with them. And until people tell the truth about my case, until people tell the truth about my pregnancy, until people stop trying to sabotage me um, behind closed doors and don't wanna be uh, called out for it, then I'm not dealing with nobody. You know, I'm gonna tell the truth and ain't nobody gonna stop me from telling the truth. And once I tell the truth, I'm a network and then continue to let people know what's going on out here in America and what y'all out here doing. And at that point, I just pray that the most high step in because he's already in the midst. But Jehovah, Jesus Christ, I just pray that you win this battle. I don't have no problem forgiving people. You know what I'm saying? Like this whole train is not even like showing up on the screen. Like the southbound train is not even showing up. I had to cut on this camera because they steady keep doing st stupid, sneaky stuff and then trying to be sneaky about it. You know, um, and I have to do it for my safety. But I just pray that the Lord, you know, win the battle as always. He always does. He let me know that their only victory is to try to win the battle over him. Because if I win, everybody know that I believe in Jesus Christ and Jehovah. And they know that that means that Jehovah and Jesus Christ really is God. And have power over everything that Satan, that this white man is trying to do. And they don't want nobody believing that there's anybody more powerful than them on this earth you know, and the most high is the power. You know, he is the kingdom. There's two kingdoms. There's a kingdom of God and there's a kingdom of Satan. So, yes, we are in Satan's kingdom. But Jehovah, Jesus Christ's kingdom is much bigger than this kingdom in, in itself. So I'm just over here by myself. You know, they did say that the narrow path, I'm walking the narrow path. I'm not on the broad path. You know, they're on the broad path out here trying to kill folks and stuff for their little cars and everything. And this is what's going on in the middle of the night. Um, God did let me know that I was cast, I, oh, they're cast out of the kingdom of heaven and I'm not in the kingdom of Satan. And they got my child in the kingdom of Satan. So this whole entire country is the kingdom of Satan. And me being outside and everything is just showing y'all that I'm just not a part of it. You know, me not being able to go into shelters, you know, not being able to get any medical care, you know, because that's the kingdom of Satan. And unless I decide that I'm going to serve Satan, then they're not going to let me have anything, you know, um, and they're going to try to do their hardest to keep me without. I'm, I'm glad to have the basic food, blankets, and things that I do have. Um, that was a blessing to show uh, God's um, reign over the earth. Like, okay, he's not going to let you just keep starving me knowing that I'm pregnant. Thank God for the food, you know, and thanks for everybody who did try to have a heart or did have a heart to help me out at all because you know, I am a grown person and they're trying to make it seem like, oh, you grown, you could do for yourself while really outcasting me um, in the society and marginalizing me in the society. Um, and then trying to turn around and make it seem like I'm crazy for speaking out about what's going on. Like I could have easily have been just another lost soul, like the pictures that you see on the wall with them over there lying about what really happened to those girls and those women and these men. You know, but I'm like a ghost walking through the place because I didn't die and because I'm still alive and because I am fighting back. And it's two different kingdoms amongst each other.